Hey folks, I'm going to show you today how you can get infinite return on your real estate investment. So stay tuned. I'm not just going to show you, I'm going to give an example. If you've followed any of my videos up until this point, you've probably seen where I picked up that two bedroom, one bath in Winston. Uh, so I'm going to show you the numbers quickly on that, but then I'm going to take you a step further to show you where it's good, but what if you apply uh, what we consider kind of the Burr method, which is not a new concept, but it's crazy. It feels like it's illegal. It feels illegal. It's so good. So let me just go over the numbers real quickly. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's probably backwards on your side, but anyway, you'll get the concept. That property that I picked up in Winston, picked it up for $25,000, put about $1,000 into closing costs, that type thing. Then $24,000 into the fix up. So I, all in on that property, I came in at around $50,000. That's, that, that was, that was everything. So if we take that, then step one of that is once we've got it fixed up and we've got it all nice, we're going to rent it out. I did turn that particular property into a three bedroom house. So I know in Winston, I can get 825 and rent for a three bedroom, one bath. I don't know if you can see those numbers. I meant to zoom in on it later, but so rent for 825, you got to figure in a vacancy rate because it's not always going to be rented. In Winston, it's averaging about 95%, so the market's good right now. So I'm figuring about a 5% vacancy rate. So you take 50 bucks off for that. Taxes and insurance, if you can believe it or not, $33 a month, that's it. Um, it's cheap. And then CapEx, or let's say expenses, let's just say repairs, are gonna run, I figure, I figure, me personally, I figure about $2,000 per door on my properties, that may be high, but that equates to about $167 per month that I'm just kind of setting aside so when something breaks, we've got the money out of that. So you wanna calculate for that. Bottom line is, it's cash flowing without a mortgage, $575 a month with all the contingencies. Times 12, $6,900 a month in income. So what you wanted to do is determine, okay, what is my return on that $50,000. So the way you figure out return on investment is you're going to take the, the annual income after expenses. There is no mortgage on this divided by your amount that you have in there, which is 50 grand. It's a 14% return on investment. That's great. You know, Oh, you know what I didn't figure in here? I didn't figure in management fee. So I need to figure a management fee real quick, which runs me um, about another 50 bucks. So if you're managing it yourself, then, uh, then you keep this, but if not 525, 6,300 divided by 50,000, 13%. So there's a lesson there. Don't manage it yourself. For 1% return, they handle all the phone calls, the fixed toilets, the litigation, the eviction, and they keep everything legal in terms of the leases and that type of thing. They're up to date on all that stuff. So that's 13% return investment. It's great, but it's not sexy. I'm about to show you sexy here, best I can. This is a, again, I bought it as a two bedroom. I added a closet, two closets actually. I turned it into a three bedroom, one bath. So what I'm doing is I'm forcing appreciation on this property. So now when it's being appraised, it's being appraised not with, not as a two bedroom, but as a three. You can't always do that, but you can't always do this. That house is about 1,050 square feet. So it's a pretty good size house. It's not, a, not huge. Average house in Winston-Salem right now is going for about $104 a square foot. I'm being super conservative because it's not in the best neighborhood. Um, so I'm saying about $75 a square foot. So, so that's $78,000. I'll show you this, bear with me. So that house right now, after the fix up, should appraise for around 78K. Now you could stop there in addition to this return on investment, this, this cash flow right here, 6,300, 
you got 50 in it, it'll appraise right now at 78. So you've got another $28,000 worth of equity that you forced. Like it's, it's by fixing it up and making it a nicer house, boom, your net worth went, just went up by $28,000. But here's what you do, and this is the secret. You take that 78, you're gonna go to the bank. They're gonna give you a 75% loan to value. Now remember, you own this house free and clear. So 78,000 times 0.75, get ready for the sexy. Only if you like numbers, <laughs> boom, 58,500 is what the bank's going to lend you. So now what do you do now? You're going to take that 58,000. Now you got 50 in it. Uh, and I'm going to get to that in a sec. So let's take 58000 get a mortgage on it. Payment's going to be $338. So now let's do this. Let's come over here. Minus $338 for the mortgage. So what's that do to your cash flow? It's gonna affect your cash flow. 525 minus 338 takes your cash flow down to 187 bucks. That's not exciting. 187 times 12. Now you just gave yourself a 2,000 Two, two, four. With one house, you just gave yourself a $2,244 annual raise. But $58,500, how much do you have in it? 50, right? So you got your 50 grand back. Boop. And what are you going to do with the 8,500? 8,500 goes to whatever you want to do with it. So part one is the 8,500 coming out is tax free because that's now a business expense. That's not, that doesn't hit your personal income tax. So $5,800, you could take that 58 or take that 8,500, put it in your pocket tax free, go on a vacation, buy, uh, do some home improvements. If you're in my house, uh, do whatever you want with 8,500. It's your money. You earned it. And the 50,000 is still working for you. So how much of your own money do you have in this deal? Boop. You got no money in your deal. So take $2,244 divided by zero. That's the best infinite I can do. Infinite ROI. Okay. Now what I would suggest is you take that, you know what? Take the eight grand, go have fun. Take the 50,000, go do it again. Keep doing it. People ask me, I just got asked today, Dave, you know, how did you get all those properties doing it part time? I'm not rich. I'm just taking that money and recycling it. And that's something you could do as well. Hope this was helpful.